Today we are going to discuss about psychiatric emergencies. As a nurse, you should know how to handle emergencies in hospital. Likewise, in psychiatry also, we are having different types of psychiatric emergency management. So, what do you know about psychiatric emergency? It is a condition wherein the patient has disturbance of thought, affect and psychomotor activity leading to his existence, otherwise known as suicide or threat to the people in the environment, otherwise known as homicide. This condition needs immediate intervention to safeguard the life of patient, bring down the anxiety of family members and enhance the emotional security to others in the environment. Now let's discuss about what are the initial approach has to be taken during psychiatric emergencies. Initial approach during emergencies are as a nurse we have to evaluate quickly to identify the nature of condition and to institute care on the basis of seriousness is essential. Second one, the nurse should have basic knowledge about handling psychiatric emergencies. And also, medical legal cases need to be registered separately and informed to the concerned officer. What is MLC? MLC means medical legal case. It, it may be in any case such as an assault, road traffic accident, poisoning, burns, suicide attempt etc and also medical officer has to be intimated to the nearest police station regarding this issue next one is adequate security must be maintained to control violent and dangerous patient clinical findings and medical and psychiatric history should be recorded clearly in the emergency file patient present condition and plans of management should be explained in clear to the family members. Now let's move to types of psychiatric emergencies. First one is suicidal threat, second one is violent or aggressive behavior or excitement, panic attacks, catatonic stupors, hysterical attacks, transient situational disturbances, delirium tremens, epileptic furor, acute drug induced extrapyramidal syndrome. These are the main types of psychiatric emergencies. Let's discuss about suicidal threat. What is suicidal threat? It is considered to be one of the commonest emergencies that is in psychiatry a suicide attempt is is considered as the commonest emergencies. Suicide is type of deliberate self-harm and is defined as an intentional human act of killing oneself. Next, we can discuss about etiology. Main causes are psychiatric disorders, physical disorders, psychosocial factors, age and sex. Let's discuss the examples of psychiatric disorders leads to suicides are major depression, schizophrenia, drug and alcohol abuse, dementia, delirium and personality disorders. Now we can move to second etiological cause that is physical factors. Patient with incurable or painful physical disorders like cancer and AIDS are the main causes of in physical factors. Patient with incurable or painful physical disorders like cancer and AIDS. Let's move on the third cause that is psychosocial factors such as failures in examination, dowry harassment, marital problems, loss of loved object, isolation and alienation from social groups, financial and occupational difficulties. Some other minor causes are age and sex. 
as in the case of age male above 40 years and female above 55 years are vulnerable group in the case of sex men have a greater risk of committing suicide and women have a higher rate of attempted suicide now i am going to discuss about management as a psychiatrist nurse, we should be aware of certain signs which may be indicate that the individual may be commit suicide such as writing farewell letters, giving away treasured articles, making a will, closing bank accounts, appearing peaceful and happy after a period of depression, refusing to eat or drink, maintaining personal hygiene. As a nurse, what are the things to be monitored for patient safety needs are take all suicidal threat or attempt seriously and notify psychiatrist. Search for toxic agents such as drug and alcohol. Do not leave the drug tray within the reach of the patient. Remove sharp instruments. Remove stripes and clothing such as belts, neckties. Do not allow the patient to bolt his door on the inside. The patient should be kept in constant observation. Have a good vigilance, especially during the morning hours. Spend time with him to ventilate his feelings. If a patient attempted suicide in a patient unit, what are the nursing management to be taken? Assess for vital signs. Check airway. If necessary, clear airway. If pulse is weak, start IV fluids. Turn patient head and neck to one side to prevent the regurgitation and the swallowing of vomitus. Otherwise, what will happen? It will lead to choking and uh, emergency measures to be instituted in case of self-inflicted injuries. Now let's move on to next psychiatric emergency that is violent aggressive behavior or excitement. What is violent or aggressive behavior? It is a severe form of aggressiveness. During this stage, the patient will be irrational, uncooperative, delusional and assaultive. Let's move to etiologic factors. They are organic psychiatric disorder and other psychiatric disorders and organic psychiatric disorders like delirium, dementia and other psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia, mania, agitated depression etc. Now let's move to management. Talk to the patient and see if he respond firm and kind approach by the nurse is essential. Usually sedation is given like diciform 10 to 20 mg, IV, haloperidol 10 to 20 mg, chlorpromacin 50 to 100 mg. Once the patient is sedated, collect history carefully from relatives. Check for history of convulsions. Carry out complete physical examination. Send blood specimen for hemoglobin total cell count etc. Look for evidence of malnutrition. Have less furniture in the room and remove sharp instruments, probes, glass items, tie strings, match boxes from patient vicinity. Keep environmental stimuli such as lighting and noise level to a minimum. Assign a single room, limit interaction with others, stay with patient as hyperactivity increases to reduce anxiety level and foster a feeling of security. Redirect violent behavior with physical outlet such as exercise, outdoor activities. Encourage patient to talk out his aggressive feelings rather than acting them out. If the patient is not calm by talking down and refuse the medication, restraints may become necessary. 
following applications of restraints observe the patient every 50 minutes to ensure that nutritional and elimination are met now let's discuss about next psychiatric emergencies that is panic attack what is panic attack a panic attack is the abrupt onset of intense fear or discomfort that reaches a peak within minutes and includes at least four of the following symptoms that are palpitations pounding heart or accelerated heart rate sweating trembling or shaking sensation of shortness of breath etc let's move to management first of all we have to give assurance then search for the cause psychological support has to be given diciform 10 mg or lorazepam 2 mg may be administered let's discuss about catatonic stupor what is catatonia catatonia is nothing but it is a abnormality of movement and behavior arising a disturbed mental state what is stupor it is a clinical syndrome of akinesis what is akinesis akinesis means loss of voluntary movement and mutism but relative preservation of consciousness awareness stupor is often associated with catatonic signs and symptoms cat the various signs include mutism negativism stupor ambient tendency echolalia echoplexia automatic obedience posturing mannerism etc next clinical features first of all mutism mutism is nothing but it's the absence of speech next one is rigidity maintains of rigid posture posturing means nothing but it's a voluntary assumption of an inappropriate and often bizarre posture for long periods of time echolalia echolalia is nothing but it is a repetition of or mimicking of phrases or word next one is echopraxia it is nothing but it is a repetition of action observed next next clinical feature is waxy flexibility that is nothing but it's a parts of body can be placed in positions that will be maintained for long period of time next clinical feature is ambitendency ambitendency is nothing but it is a conflict to do or not to do let let's discuss about next psychiatric emergencies that is catatonic stupor it is nothing but it is an extreme immobility without evidence of absent or decrease consciousness example the patient sits immobile in a chair for 16 hours staring fixedly apparently unaware of other people or his own bodily needs let's move to management first of all ensure patient airway administer iv fluids collect history and perform physical examination draw blood for investigation before starting any treatment let's discuss about next condition that is hysterical attacks what is hysterical attacks it may be a mimic abnormality of any function a hysterical may mimic abnormality of any function which is under voluntary control the common modes of presentation may be hysterical fits hysterical ataxia hysterical paraplegia all presentation are marked by a dramatic quality and sadness of mood hysterical fit must be distinguished from genuine fits as hysterical symptoms can cause panic among relatives 
to the relatives the psychological nature of symptoms reassure that no harm would come to the patient must help the patient realize the meaning of symptoms and help him find alternative ways of coping with stress and also we have to suggestion therapy with iv pentothal may be helpful in some case next condition that is transient situational disturbance these are characterized by disturbed feeling and behavior occurring due to overwhelming external stimuli next management first of all we have to give reassurance to the patient mild sedation should be given if it is necessary allowing the patient to ventilate his feeling and also last counseling has to be given let's discuss about next condition that is delirium tremens it is nothing but delirium tremens is an acute condition resulting from withdrawal of alcohol let's move to management keep patient in a quiet and safe environment sedation is usually given with diazepam 10 mg or lorazepam 4 mg iv maintain food and electrolyte balance and also we should reassure the patient and his family let's discuss about next condition that is epileptic furor epileptic furor is nothing but it is a following epileptic attack patient may behave in a strange manner and become excited and violent let's move to management sedation injection diazepam 10 10 mg iv should be started followed by oral anti convulsant should be started haloperidol 10 mg iv helps to reduce psychotic behavior let's discuss about acute drug induced extra pyramidal syndrome antipsychotic can cause a variety of movement related side effects collectively known as extra pyramidal syndrome in short we can say eps neuroleptic malignant syndrome is rare but most series of this syndrome is rare but the symptoms and occurs in small minority of patient taking neuroleptics especially high potency compounds let's move to its management drug should be stop immediately maintain fluid and electrolyte balance diazepam can be used for muscle stiffness let's discuss about drug toxicity drug overdose may be accidental or suicidal in either case all attempt to made to find out the drug consumed a detailed history should be collected and the symptomatic treatment should be started a common case of drug poisoning is lithium toxicity symptoms includes drowsiness vomiting abdominal pain confusion blurred vision stupor and coma generalized convulsion oliguria and death the management of drug toxicities are first of all we have to start administer oxygen start iv fluids assess cardiac arrhythmias refer for hemodialysis what is hemodialysis it's nothing but it is a removal of waste material from blood when kidneys are not functioning and last administer anti conversion drugs hope you got an idea about psychiatric emergencies and its management thank you for watching